Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about carburetor tuning. I've been getting emails like this uh, day in and day out sometimes, so I'm finally going to do a video on carburetion tuning. Now, what I have here, I have several different carbs and uh, from different years and I'm going to go through that. Uh, but one thing I want to just start off with is let's just assume that you have uh, cleaned your carb out, you maybe rebuilt your carb, or you bought a brand new carb and you're throwing it on your motor um, uh, to get it going for the first time and maybe you're having trouble to get it uh, to idle correctly and you're just trying to tune the carburetor. Um, I have videos on uh, you know, Express Clean carburetion uh, rebuild and you can go check that video out. But uh, let's get started here with some of the carbs that I have. Now most of you will have say a 1600 dual port motor and many times um, you're running uh, carburetors that have both the idle and the mixture screw. Okay, from 69 and earlier, say you have a 30 pick 2 carb here, they just had the mixture screw. Okay, earlier carbs like you have here, this is 36 horse, 40 horse, 28 picked, this is the early 28, okay, this is the later 28 pick for the inside in the 60s motors. Um, they just have a mixture screw and uh, same once you get to 1970 a 1600 motor then you had the idle and the mixture screw so once you got the 1600 motors that's when you had two okay now in the earlier motors if you're going to be adjusting the mixture you would also adjust the idle um, the throttle on the throttle arm here there's a screw here they do have that on the later carbs as well but usually from uh, factory or from buying it brand new that's already set so I usually don't touch that uh, but if you do have to touch it you know just understand that um, you know when you adjust this this screw here it just touches this piece right here okay this is this is what adjusts the choke um, so when a car is warm uh, I'm sorry when a car is cold and you're just starting it in the morning you're gonna tap the pedal a couple times it's gonna throw this down to put it into choke like that and then as the carbs wa car is warming up it goes down and down like that and then this should just touch this piece right here okay so it should not be hammered into there so if it's too tight you're going to want to back off and just make sure it just touches that's kind of like a, a default position there now say you rebuilt your carb and you got a carb like this uh, this is a 30 31 pick it's like a hybrid carb it's kind of an aftermarket carb that they offer for you know, motors basically from 67 up to 70, um, you can use this type of a carburetor. Um, I've had hit or miss, you know, uh, uh, results with it, but uh, they can work pretty good. So, but if you're looking for correctness, this is not the carb to go. You want to want to try to find the correct carb for your, your motor. If you have a stock motor and it's going to run much better. So, but what I normally do is say I rebuilt this carb. Okay. And I'm going to throw it on my 70 motor or my 68 motor. Now, what I normally do is, I got this tip from a good friend of mine, Rick Higgins, from the Bug Me videos, is here's your, your idle screw. What I normally do is I'll, I'll uh, screw that in all the way till bottom, and then the mixture screw, the same thing, all the way to bottom, till they bottom out. Then, with the mixture screw, I back off 10 half turns. Okay, so you're going to want to go 10 half turns out. The big idle screw you go five half turns out. Now what that does is it puts it at a center default position. Um, usually it's a good starting point right there. Now once you have this all buttoned down on your on your motor and you, you get it started, maybe the car is not running correctly. The first thing you're going to want to do is adjust the idle mixture. Okay, now backing off is going to make it richer and screwing in is going to make it leaner. Usually at the the 10 half turns out it's pretty rich uh, so what I like to do is you start turning in slowly half turn each time okay so you're turning a half turn each time and you're listening to the motor every once in a while you're gonna want to hit the throttle just to get it to rev up a little bit and see how the mixture has an end result okay so you just keep turning until you hear that motor start to level out Okay, when you hear it level out, you'll know it. You'll see how, how good it's, it's, it's running. Then I turn in again until it starts to bog a little bit, it starts to bog down just a bit. When you hear that, that's when you back off again 
and go the other way counterclockwise to level it out and once you hear it level out that is then pretty much where you need to be if it's still kind of running a little hoarse or does not want to level out too well and maybe it's still sounding like it's too low no matter how far you back out of the mixture screw then you're going to go to your idle and try to bring up the idle a little bit to level that out so it's usually the mixture screw first and then the idle now sometimes you might come into a scenario where you turn this mixture screw all the way in and it bottoms and now you don't want to horse this because you can break that piece in there so just be careful you turn that mixture screw all the way in and still the, the car should really die at that point it's, it's completely shut if you turn this and it doesn't die and the car's still running and no matter how much you turn this in or out it doesn't make an it doesn't make a, a, a difference in the sound of the motor that means you have a vacuum leak somewhere okay so then you could either want to check uh, the you maybe take this idle uh, screw uh, the mixture screw out and check the the rubber o-ring that's on it they have rubber o-rings on those same with the big uh, uh, idle screw you know, check the gasket that the carb is sitting on on top of the manifold okay you could also check if you have a dual port motor you check the boots on the, uh, the dual port manifold maybe they're leaking or maybe they need to be tightened also check the heat risers you know things like that the heat riser gaskets uh, on, on the manifold things like that you're going to want to check to make sure there's no get, there's no leak so the one thing you could do for that is as the motor's running and say you have a vacuum leak you think you have one you could spray some water okay on with a spray bottle on the gaskets you could spray some water you know uh, um, on the boots on the manifold things like that and to see if you hear a difference in the motor as it's running so um, I'm I'm gonna you know demonstrate for you you know just briefly how you know a motor should sound as you're making adjustments on a dual port motor but on the earlier carbs you know it, again it's just the one screw you have so basically you gotta just um, I don't even know if you, you don't really have to go 10 half turns out but if you want to that's fine uh, but on these motors I kind of just back off a little bit so it's not bottomed out you turn it a few times put it on the motor start it up and then kind of adjust from there um, and and I, I really I'll, I'll be honest guys I, I adjust by ear I don't get anything real technical or fancy out I don't get any gun laser guns or you know I don't know the guys pull out a lot of different things to, to try to test these I mean I hear it by ear as long as it sounds nice and smooth you're, you're pretty much good to go if you hit the gas pedal and there's no hesitation or popping um, you, you're pretty much okay so um, and that's basically it so it's not rocket science um, again if you still have an issue with the carb tuning and maybe even the vacuum is okay and there's you know this still works all right as you're uh, adjusting the, the mixture screw and you hear the, the the you know the value in the motor as it's going up and down and this is okay and it's still not running straight then you have another issue maybe you have a, a, an internal carburetor issue okay maybe it needs to be recleaned again it needs to be gutted again I um, mean, you need to take those little uh, those little balls out that are inside the carb and, and, and dunk the carb or something. You know, it's, it's something else. So um, now a lot of times though, people will do this mixture screw. If you have it too far out and then, OK, maybe the motor sounds good. But if you're behind that car and your eyes are burning and it's tough to breathe around the car, then, you know, that motor is running rich and you'll smell it. It's running rich. And then that means this is this is out too far and it's burning too much gas. Uh, so you're going to want to uh, lean that out a little bit. And usually the, when you start tightening and you start leaning it out, you'll hear the motor uh, rise. OK, you'll hear it uh, go up and idle just a bit. It'll smooth out. And then when you turn it again, that's when it'll bog down. And then that's when you back off again, like half a turn, three quarters of a turn. So it levels out and then you adjust again accordingly with the uh, idle screw. So but um, that is basically it guys that's how you uh, tune your carburetor so um, I don't do any of those dual Weber things I mean if you have dual carbs that's that's a different story this is for a stock motor okay so stock carburetor and uh, you know that that is basically how you tune your carb so I'm gonna get a motor going right now in a car in a, in a 74 Super Beetle so you can hear what happens when you adjust those screws okay so it might be tough to see but right here there's your idle screw okay the big one and then the mixture screws below it i don't know if you can really see that too well but it's right here where my screwdriver is so right now the car is warm it's idling very nicely but i'm going to show you when i start turning in the mixture screw you'll hear the the motor start to drop 
And from there, that's when you want to back off. All right, you're hearing it drop. Yeah. So basically from that drop, that's when I back off another half a turn and the motor will start to come back up. You hear it come up? There you go. Okay. You rev it up a little bit like that, get the mixture going and you'll see it'll start to level out. So that's basically how you tune it. Now again, if you back off and it's still not running level, Okay, and then no matter how much you back off, it doesn't want to change. Go back to where it's supposed to be and then hit the idle screw up here to get the idle going correctly. So, and um, that's it. Okay, so that's the basics of carb tuning. Uh, I hope you got the gist of that. Um, again, it's, it's not rocket science. And, you know, just make sure when you're doing the tuning, the motor needs to be warm. Um, uh, at least to the best that you can get it up to. It might not, maybe if it's not starting or it's not idling, uh, you might have to adjust it temporarily so it keeps idling and keeps running until it's nice and warm. Uh, that's the best way to really tune it um, in, in my experience. So, uh, but that's it guys. If you have any questions or you got any comments, uh, you can leave it down below on the description um, or you could just email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit my website, www classicvwbugs.com Take care.